Okay. I think I want to talk about the most upsetting thing that I had to do or didn't want to do was my brother, baby mother was string order. Uh, it okay. I admit that um I was not spying on them at all. Uh, I didn't feel like I needed to spy on my brother, baby mother uh, from living next door uh, because I have my own personal life. Uh, if I date, I play Pokemon Go, I play video game. I watched TV. Um, I didn't feel like I need to spy on my brother, baby, mother from living next door. I mean, it didn't feel like it was my priority. It didn't feel like it was a chores. It didn't feel like it was my responsibility. I mean, she's not my kid. She, and so what if she trying to get cussed for her kid, and so what if my brother had cussy for her the kid? I mean, I don't like teen mom home drama. I mean, if you're like one of those parents that is on teen mom um, and no, 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 I don't care. I mean, even my sister was asking me to spy on them, and I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. Bed day, do you understand that I don't care uh, what is going on over there? They don't want me to spy on them. I don't want to spy. I don't want them to spy on me. I mean, it was stupid of them to uh, pull out a journal or a cell phone and date down uh, my friends all smoking cigarettes on this day. Uh, I kill bed bugs on this day. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry if I caught bed bugs. I'm really sorry. But I'm not sorry from killing them. Uh, with my landlord help, I mean, bed bugs are serious. Hard to kill. I mean, take my sitter for example. Uh, my sitter for example, have not killed bed bugs for six years. Six years, DJ. Six years. And I got the bed bugs killed in one day. One day. And I went over to my landlord, help. Help. I asked my landlord. Uh, I caught bed bugs. I need them out of my house uh, immediately. Hey. Hey, and heat treatment are the best way to kill bed bugs. Hey, it's the best way. You get your free laundry to be done. You get to save the phone to that have bed bugs. Uh, you get to save the mattress to have bed bugs. Um, my sister, on the other hand, she doesn't know how to kill bed bugs. Like, okay, okay, I'll give you an example. She gave me my old bed frame. Hmm, because she saw I needed my old bed frame, even though I knew it was broken from the beginning from Big Cloud because I bought it on a discount. Huh? And I didn't want to stock the, I didn't want to make the bed, and so the big lots give me a discount of, from one hundred dollar to fifty bucks. They cut it down to the middle, and I knew bed day was, didn't have a closet inside her, her bedroom where she was living at, so I gave her my. And bed frame, and then she saw it was a good deal to buy a new bed frame uh, from Amazon, and, and she was like sending me pictures saying, 
see, it's so cute, it's so pretty, and I was like, first off, no, I don't like how you bought a bed frame, and you're forcing me to have this bed frame, and with bed books, and the mattress, oh, don't give me a story on the mattress, don't even give me a story on the mattress, DJ, you would not like this mattress as well. The mattress was about as old as myself. The mattress was like, like about 20 year old. It looked like she got the mattress from the trash can. And, and And, and, oh my fucking load. I don't even want to think about it. I mean, it was not even cool at all. Oh, and it was not even cool that I had to lock myself out of my bedroom huh, at my new apartment that I just moved to. I had to lock myself out of my bedroom. Because I was scared to move the bed bugs from the living room and to the kitchen to the bedroom. I mean, I was so lucky that there was no bed bugs inside the bedroom. Um, and I had to sleep in the living room with the bed bugs for f four months while they were being killed. And like I said before, he treated me are the best way to kill bed bugs. Uh, when when you live in an apartment, uh, like mine, okay, okay, the apartment that I live in now, it's like it's like a hotel building or a motel building. And you go in from one door, uh, you go into the lobby, then you take the other door to your bedroom. And you can't get the heat treatment of the bed bugs. And you have to do poison. You have to spray everything down. Uh, spray uh, the poison. Uh, and then you have to wash your clothes and heat all your um, clothes. Like, I was doing my best. I mean, I'm a little bit glad that better give me bed bugs. Like after I move into my apartment, so I can lock up all my clothes inside the bedroom, um, as a storage room, lock up everything inside the bedroom that I want to keep. And I had to sleep in my living room with the and. Um, Bankies with bed bugs, my clothes with bed bugs. I would do it. And the drawer every single day. I was paying for my laundry to get rid of the bed bugs. And they posted my apartment and treatment. I mean, I was locked out of my apartment for like four days while they treated my apartment. And so four days and plus four hours equal let's see four times four is yeah sixteen hours. I was locked out of my apartment for sixteen hours and why they did the treatment. And Betty didn't seem to kill. She reported a restraining order against me and because she was like Oh, no, I don't care that I give you bed bugs. Hugs, I don't care. No, don't tell my landlord that I give you bed bugs and you want me to kill the bed bugs. Uh, I'm going to put a string order against your ass uh, because I don't believe that I should kill the bed bugs. I won't keep the bed bugs as a pet. Uh, I'm going to kill them on, on my own tongue. Uh, I'm going to kill them inside the living room or inside the hustle room. I'm not going to kill them inside the Melissa room because of Melissa health reason. And Melissa is sick and 
And she doesn't care if she can um, bed bug bite. But I'm I'm just going to kill them into the living room and inside her husband's room, okay? And so, yeah. Now, she even date me for my self from looking outside my window. So, so what I did after the restraining order from my sister law, huh, is I put up purple wax all over my window because I felt like uh, that was proof to DJ and proof to Steve saying. I'm not spying on you for the last time. This is not me spying on you. I don't give a fuck what you're doing over there next door. I don't give a... And you need to respect my privacy over here. Uh, just like I respect your privacy. And the only thing I did agree on was... I didn't like how my mom was paying $5,000... For a low, huh? To get to help to me out to pass to get cussy over his kid. I mean, my mom was paying for it. My brother's doll was paying for it. And um, and it seemed like DJ was raising up the price. Uh, from $500 to $1,000 to $2,000 to $3,000. Uh, just because you want to cuss it over a kid. Eventually, um, they got cussy. Uh, I do agree that DJ and Steve should have cussy over the kid. Because what Timmy told me after he moved in with me. He told me that he left a all alone while he went to self Safeway by himself. Oh, he went to the gas stores, gas station store um, and left a all by herself and he forced me to take a CPR test and and so that I could babysit her. Well, uh, so I got the CPR lesson. Uh, and then after he told me all that, I was like, wait a second, you want me to take a CPR lesson uh, for me to babysit, but when you had the custody of her? Uh, oh my fucking load, you left her alone by herself? A world can't even talk. Uh, she can't get the phone and dial 911 and say, Help, help, I'm choking, I'm choking. I, I can't breathe. I'm choking. Can you get over here? My address is this. No, she can't do that. Uh, and... When he told me all that, I was like, well, I'm really a little bit glad that Steve and DJ have cussy. Because you should not have cussy over your kid. No, you should not have cussy over your kid. I don't care if you're my brother. You should not have cussy over the kid. And I don't care if, if DJ and Steve were dead and you got cussed. No, I would even tell the judge that story what you did, what you told me, and I will make sure that I will get put in some foster care, because she was, she would be better off in foster care, than be better off with my brother. <sighs> <coughs> Sorry, uh, I mean with coffee. <laughs> Let's see what's. Mm. 
I do hate how I give my last apartment to my brother, but I did it on good tone since, okay, the only reason why I did it was because uh, he was on the waiting list for one of their apartment. He wanted to move back to Pine Tree Harbor. And they found a massive restraining order from Steven and from DJ. And they said, um, no, he have a restraining order against himself from these two people. So we're not going to have him on the wait waiting list. We don't care if he never answer your, answer your bedroom. Uh, he need to find somewhere else to live beside him. Huh, so I thought every other apartment would do the same. Like the winter, um, the Hotel Olympic. Um, and most apartments in Santa Tacoma are about seven years waiting list or two years waiting list. And... My name got put up very fast for this one bedroom apartment at this hotel in such common I mean not a hotel, it just the beginning of it. It, it used to be a hotel building, now a apartment compact. And so I got the one bedroom. Hmm. I'm actually living inside another one bedroom. I moved from that one bedroom into another one bedroom that was across the street from it. I mean, hey, my old one bedroom was so small, so tiny. And you know, like the living room was tiny, the bedroom was tiny. The bedroom was not able to fit a queen bed. It was. It was as big as a queen bed, and 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 I'm now living inside a one bedroom again at another location, and it's a Tacoma. And so yeah, I give my apartment to Timmy, but only because of the the massive violence with string order from Steven and DJ. Uh, I hope that uh, that from Timmy's side of the story that uh, he used self defense against Steven, so it. Felt like that it was a self defense restraining order. But then again, Timmy, he have a lot of issue. Uh, like, a lot of issue. Uh, like, I even went to council uh, uh, to get over my stress on Timmy and my counselor felt like that I should have a dog service come over to the apartment because she felt like the apartment uh, was not safe for me and that Timmy was being a control brother uh, because he is a father so she felt like that he was trying to be a father to, to me and trying to be a father to his own kid. So it just all stupid. I don't want to get into the middle of it. I mean, so yeah, my counselor called adult service. I had to see if she could possible get Timmy some counselor help or remove Timmy from the power bone um, or something. 
kind of stupid. I got a dark silvers uh, for myself. I mean, I'm not a very kid, and <laughs> it was stupid. Um, but uh, and then the apartment building called me up, and I was like, "Okay, um, should I move?" Well, first off, it was the apartment building that called me to move in with them. But then, um, my own landlord wanted to give me and Timmy a two-bedroom. And this, this two-bedroom would have been a lot bigger than Steve and DJ apartment. And, like, the living room, I swear, this apartment was about maybe... 900 square feet, hey, because the living room was the exact same picture that they had on the website. And I could possibly easily make the living room into a short bedroom. Uh, all I have to do is get a bigger door that can go across the living room and I would still have a living room. I would still have a dining room. I would still have my own bedroom. I would still have Timmy inside the bigger bedroom and I would be inside the tiny bedroom. And, but I felt like, but it was on the upper ground and we didn't have enough people to move all the furniture from um, the one bedroom to the two bedroom. Um, so me and mom we are talking over saying, Yeah, I should take the one bedroom. Even though I did um, I had to pay for the carpet damage, I felt like it would better that damage my carpet because she gave me bed bugs like right away, like a month after I moved into the place. So I had to pay for carpet damage. I had to pay for a you know, new paint on the wall. Um, yeah, and that was about fifteen thousand, fifteen hundred dollar, or uh, one thousand five hundred. <sighs> now you can put was string order against me. Actually, I think that was string order what DJ and Steve did against me. Was them saying it was an apartment victim notice. And I look into it, it. And to get a victim notice on someone from court orders is $85. Do the math. It's not called a string order. If you want to kick someone out from next door or someone that lives with you, you have to go to the library and over the courthouse, go to the library. They do have a library session, DJ. You must be very stupid to not know that there was a library and of the courthouse. Huh? There was a library, and you had to pay $85 of your own pocket to get a written notice on someone huh, to kick them out outside of the apartment and to be honest uh, I think I would have won that same was during that same notice as well because yeah the judge said stop knocking on her door Brandy won you could ask my mom that I won she was there I don't know if you want to ask better since she's stupid since she put restraining order against me to keep bed bugs at her apartment. So you possibly don't want to ask her if I want to restrain them. But you definitely want to ask my mom since my mom went to law school. Uh, yes, my mom went to law school, DJ. Did you know that back in... Uh, let's see, what year was it? She went to law school back in 2005. Oh my goodness, DJ. How stupid are you? <laughs> yeah. 
Let's see, what else to talk about? Oh, and that's where we look at the DJ is trying to lose weight. Yeah, I just saw her recent on YouTube. Hoop, and she looked like that she gained another 50 pounds. She looked like that she is true got some pounds. Um, um, I'm 200, I was 240, and I lost 50 pounds. Uh, and the way how that I lost 50 pounds is that I, okay, this is not the juice that I took, for example. But for example, I took some green juice. Uh, green juice that, yeah, green V8 juice. Who's, and I put lime inside the juice because the green V8 juice had a, it had apple and I think it had spinach inside and as an agreement inside, it was like, a green V8 juice. I don't remember the name of it, but it tastes a little bit icky. So I added in lemon juice and that wild down the taste of it. Uh, and then I added in chachilla seeds, you know, like the chachilla pet. And the chachilla seeds into the drink. And, yeah, it got me to lose 50 pounds in six months. Maybe three months. <laughs> yeah, I was still able to eat junk food. Uh, I didn't have to work out as much. Uh, I was just able to drink it. Uh, and then lose weight. So if you ask this DJ, hopefully you could take that advice. Or you could go to Wish and get this Betty Bone. And it's like a patch huh, that you put over your bay butt and... I think you got wear wear it for about four hours a day, okay, and you could just watch TV and have that on your bed, okay, and and that will help you out to lose weight. You can also get these earrings okay, to put so your earrings, but I think that the earrings will work better after you lose like two hundred pounds. And then, and then you want to put the earrings in when you're about 190. And that way you can lose about 25 pounds. And so don't try the earrings weight loss until you try the patch or the chachilla pet diet that I was on. And you might be okay with the to cheat your pet diet. And since you did that egg experiment, um, let's see what else do I want to talk about. I think that all that I want to talk about. So next time when you come across me and Sir Washington, and you, and you want to live next door to me, please do not put a restraining order against me. Hmm. Hmm. Or, or I will remind the next, the next judge, uh, the same hmm, first restraining order that you put against me last time. And that same judge will tell you I won. Uh, so please stop being stupid. Get a lot smarter than what you are. Uh, I know you are smart, and I know you are a good mom. You're a ten-time better mom than 
Timmy is, since he likes to leave his kid alone by himself, I mean, by herself, uh, to the point where she can't call now one. Um, um, uh, for Steven, you know what? Suck my finger uh, on your whole cartoon scene. And because, first off, I don't care if I am a dot. And that's why I was trying to tell the judge what you were saying, several of us, several of us, several of us. I'm allowed to watch cartoon if I want to. I can understand if you think that I should not watch um, Boo Cues or Barney episode or... I mean, the type of cartoon episode that I was talking about that I like to watch are DuckTale episode and Goggles and... I mean, who doesn't like the 80s cartoon episode? I mean, this was the cartoon episode that I was talking about, uh, Stephen. See? 